today's workout is going to be an every minute on the minute for 20 minutes. We're going to have three exercises that we'll be moving through and one uh, resting station. So that means in this EMOM, uh, we're going to go ahead and complete five total rounds of everything. Okay. Now today is a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and choose your own adventure here. You're going to be choosing from a deadlift category, a core category, and a jump rope category. So you're just going to choose one exercise within each one of the categories, and you'll go ahead and complete that in today's EMOM. We're going to start off with the deadlifts. The deadlifts, you can choose to do 10 sandbag deadlifts, 12 barbell deadlifts, or 15 double kettlebell deadlifts. Now on these deadlifts, it's player's choice. The reps are going to be designated, but the load is not. So you get to choose whatever load you'd like to uh, attempt at. We are trying to get this done within the minute. So you can go ahead and choose to go a little bit on the lighter side, depending on how your body's feeling, or you can go ahead and challenge yourself to get all the reps within the minute range. All right. Um, the deadlifts today can be, the sandbags can be anywhere from 50 pounds all the way to 200 pounds. All right. The barbell deadlifts can go beyond that. And then on the double kettlebell deadlifts, it's unique because we have some stabilization that um, is going to be different than the other two movements because we have two objects um, kind of moving independently of one another. Okay. And you can use that anywhere from at training yard you have the option to keep it on the lighter side. You can use 26 pounds all the way up to 106 pounds. Okay. So we have a lot of different options here on those kettlebells. Once you've picked your deadlift, you're going to pick your core movement. We have toes to bar and that's going to be 10 reps. We have 12 V ups or 15 ab mat sit ups. Some of you have been trying to, um, kind of work on some shoulder issues, continue to do your mobility, but now you can go ahead and choose one of these movements that's going to best suit you. If you're working on the movement and you want to still do a toes to bar, you can cut down the reps from 10 to maybe even just doing one full toes to bar. And then finally, our last category is going to be the jump rope. The jump rope here is going to be triple unders, double unders, or singles. And as you can see, we have a rep range here. So if you're doing triple unders and you're somebody who's really awesome at doubles, triples are the next stage. That's where we're headed. So I recommend that you go ahead and challenge yourself. Maybe you don't get any, but that's okay because practicing a triple for one minute five times is a really good opportunity to kind of work on that skill. Okay. And same goes for double unders. If say you don't get 25, say you don't get 50 or 75. Is it a wash? No, not at all. Just an opportunity to work on a skill that you may not have. Now, if you hate the jump rope and singles are where you're at, it's a hundred. Okay. So we have an opportunity to kind of better ourselves and challenge ourselves in this kind of choose your own adventure workout. So when you are moving through this, assess how your body's feeling. If it's been a rough week and the work week, the life week, and the workout week has been challenging, lighten yourself up and just move. If today, this week's been awesome and you're really feeling like you're firing on all cylinders, push yourself, challenge yourself to get a little bit heavier or get those reps in within that time frame. This workout's a great opportunity to kind of move around based on how you're feeling. So trust yourself, feel out your feelings, and then attack this workout.